In this view, we want to set up a Frequently Asked Questions page, or an FAQ page, where we show the basic page which we're using for our FAQs and the image of the author that has created the answer to that question. So we've got a little bit of work to do here, but let's dive in. All right, now that we have a basic page and our profile is somewhat filled out, let's go ahead and set up our view. Go to Structure, Views, and Add New View. We're going to call this Frequently Asked Questions. That's how we're going to use our basic page content type. We'll show the content of basic page. And we'll leave it at new as first later. We can fix that. Create a page. Let's change the path to F FAQs. That seems to be a bit smarter. Let's change the display format from an unformatted list to a table. And of course, let's create a menu link in the main menu. Let's change the link text to FAQs. Frequently asked questions going across our page would be quite large. Click Save and Edit. Now if I scroll down, I only have one, and all I have is the title. We have a really basic view here at this point. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Click on the Advanced link over on the right-hand side, and you'll see the word Relationships. Go ahead and click Add. We need to set up a relationship between this content item and the user table. Just a few steps down, you'll see Content Author. Go ahead and select Content Author. Click Apply. And under Administrative Title, change this to Author Reference. This is the title will be displayed on the Views Edit page instead of the default one, and that's OK. We want to require this relationship, otherwise it won't work, and click Apply All Displays. So we now have our relationship set up between our content item and our author. And since our authors are in the user table, we've established that relationship. All right, let's finish up the view. Next to the word fields, click add and type in the word body. We're going to show part of the body. Click apply. Let's go ahead and change the label to question. Under rewrite results, let's go ahead and trim this field to a maximum number of characters and just go ahead and put 200 in there and click apply all displays. So if we take a quick peek here, here's the title and here's the question. Go ahead and click Add next to Fields again. And this time, look for the word Picture. And we're going to get the user picture that we've uploaded earlier. Click Apply. And you'll notice that the relationship author reference automatically pops up. And that's because we created it and required it in the label change that to answered by and let's change the image style to a thumbnail click apply so once again there we are our title our question and there's my image last thing we want to do here is combine these two columns go ahead and click on settings and let's put the title and the question in the same column so we'll take the title and put it in the question column and we'll leave the author reference column alone, leaving it in its own column. Click apply. And now you'll see that the question and answer and answered by are in separate columns. All right. The last thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we only see FAQs that actually have the author listed. And right now, of course, we've only got one. We're going to add more in just a minute, but we don't want FAQs listed that don't have an author. So under Filter Criteria, click Add. And once again, look for the Author field. We want the Field Author appears in Page. We don't want the Authored By information. So Author Field Author, click Apply. 
And here, this is simple. We just want this to be is not empty. Click Apply. Of course, that's not going to change our view at this point because we have an author for the All About Sydney node. All right, go ahead and click Save. And we'll finish this exercise in the next video. Head over to People. You'll remember we've only got one user here, and we've only got one basic page. So let's use Devel to generate a little bit of both. Head over to Configuration, Development, and Generate Users first. Generate 10 users. We'll leave them at the Authenticated User role, and we'll leave the password blank. Go back a week, that's fine, and click Generate. That was quick. So now we have users. Let's go and click on the word development in the breadcrumbs, generate content, and select basic page. Change the maximum number of words and titles to two. I always do that just because Devel generates hugely long titles. And click generate. And now we have 50 nodes from the basic page content type. If we go back to our home page, and click on FAQs, you should see a view with your frequently asked questions, the title, the body trimmed to 200 characters, and the author's picture from their user profile. And so that's a view using a relationship between two completely separate elements in our Drupal site that we created the relationship in the content type and connected it to our user table.